finally getting out these light bulbs. The pretty grungy in there. There's a moss growing. It's uh, interesting. All right, so one of these does not have a brake. Okay, so that's a bad one. One side's good, the other is not. Brand new bulb. Finally, putting this one off. Been putting this project off for a long time. Okay. And same thing with this one. One side is bad, the other is good. I think two new bulbs. Bulbs replaced, but uh, it seems like we also have uh, not just burnt out bulbs, but an electrical issue, which is strange to have burnt out bulbs and um, something else going wrong. So I'll have to add that to my list. It is getting freaking cold out at night. It's kind of. Seems like we jumped right into winter, all of a sudden. At least at nighttime, day is still okay temperatures, but boy, it's getting cold. Got out my thermals. About to go into Walmart and look for a USB-C cable for my, for the GoPro. I use the one, I'm using the one for my phone, or usually I use the one for my phone, but it's sometimes doesn't charge the phone, and I think maybe there's an issue with it, but I cannot get the files off my camera and a card reader, so I can just get it off the card if I have to. Get my footage off the hard way. <sighs> so, I think this is going to be the last night, or last day, or couple days. I might head back to the ranch today, to the main ranch. Get on with that mission. I'm getting burnt out. The cold is getting to me and I don't, I'm burning lots of propane. Maybe about time to get the diesel. Well, I don't know, it's not too bad. Hmm. I thought I was burning lots of propane. I've been doing good at keeping it as low as I can stand it. Uh, yeah, it's probably about time to try out this diesel heater, see if that still works. If I stay another night, we'll see. I'm, I am wanting to get back to the ranch and get my shower fixed. All right, I got me a new cable. Hopefully that'll do it. If not, I got me a uh, card reader. And on my way back, I realized or I saw two puddles. Two small puddles of antifreeze on the ground, so I still am fighting this antifreeze leak, which is getting a little frustrating. I wanted to get one more thing done today, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and head back to the ranch. I need to get to work on all these projects. Awesome, the USB cable didn't make a difference. The camera still wouldn't connect, but I uh, provoked me to go into settings and just see what I could find, and I found a USB setting which needed to be switched back to MTP, which is like a file transfer protocol, media transfer protocol, MTP. It was set to, um, it was like a webcam setting, so I could use the GoPro as a webcam, apparently. I'll do a quick Java update here while I'm connected to the uh, subway Wi-Fi. Happy to see the camera is good. This is an awesome camera. I gotta thank you, Brett Miller, once again for the GoPro Hero 8. This thing is, this thing is nice. I 
want to get another one for backup just because uh, I want to get like different shots and things like that. I want to put it on my list. I like this camera. And uh, yeah, we'll keep that memory card reader just in case. Uh, I got one thing. I think I'm going to go do one thing before I hit the road. I'm still undecided. I might stay the. I don't know. Uh, okay, it looks like it's leaking from that upper radiator hose again. That is a old leak. For now, I'm just gonna put a couple cranks on it. Uh, that was an 11, actually probably a 5 maybe, I think. One of the two. Where's my wrench? So I'll just put a couple cranks on that and I'll hold, hold it off for now. Leaving the Walmart, Home Depot area. And I'm going to come over here to the Lowe's, I think, and just chill for a minute while I figure out if I'm going to the ranch or not. I don't know. I'm gonna chill for a minute. I think I wanna go ahead and find a small toolbox for my sewing stuff. As I mentioned before, I am loving sewing. It's very, I don't know, I like it, it's fun. I've got some things I could fix right now. Actually, no, let's go forward. Semi truck. Reminds me, I need to play some American Truck Simulator. So, yeah, let's just go over here and hang out for just a minute. I'll go and see what the low, low is, has got. Oh, they got uh, containers now, too. Or storage buildings, little mini storage buildings, shippable storage buildings. Nice area over here, very nice parking lot, very well taken care of. My second night boondocking was here. I think I tried coming back or I went for a third night and their security showed up. So they cannot do that. But I did get one night in here one night brings back memories back to the beginning of it all trees have grown in a little bit <laughs> that is funny this guy over there feeding these birds french fries and seagulls are like screaming for them Birds are getting a good meal. I don't eat french fries anymore. I'll just throw them some snacks. I usually cut up my bread into strips or something. That's funny. These seagulls are. Seagulls and crows are a couple of characters. I even see every once in a while a crow and a seagull sitting on the top of a street like talking or arguing. Who knows? All right. Found the toolbox and then some. I've been wanting to get some of these organizer bins forever. And they're all made in USA. I love seeing everything's it's coming back. All our manufacturing jobs are coming back, boys and girls. Making America great again. And at good prices, 10 bucks. So I got like, you know, my sewing things will go in there. Got extra jean material for making those, for making some little one inch straps. They made some one inch straps, double sided or folded over a strip of jean material into a strap. You guys will see later what I did with that. Got some extra Velcro stuff. A leg jean, a jean leg. Right, fold that, save some space. So yeah, boom. 
got these little little snap buttons kit. You can make a snap on snap buttons. Again, you'll see what I was doing. A little baggie of uh, well, this is kind of my organizer. This is a Ziploc baggie, but now I could take my pins. This is stuff that was in the sewing in the sewing machine below. It's in its below compartment. Right on. Cheap toolboxes made in the USA. Nine eighty-eight or something like that. And then for twenty bucks. I have just a bottom drawer packed full of screws and nuts and with everything else modular, my tools and everything. One thing I don't have modular is all my hardware. Uh, a couple washers randomly in there for some reason. So this is what I'm going to be doing here for a little while until I figure out what I'm doing. Get organize, get these freaking washers in here. And uh, I'm, gonna, I'm going to love this. My OCD loves this stuff. Organizing. Here's some half inch number eight, but it's not self tapping. Okay, I think I will be skipping the electro electrical connections for now. I'll have to get another one of these later. They only had two left, so I grabbed the last two. I think the other one I'll use for washers and uh, these kind of things. As well as the, we got like cable clamps, washers, lock washers, and maybe like the wall mollies, wall anchors. Um, kind of got a little miscellaneous bin there, and then those uh, nylon spacers. I think those can kind of follow. Put those in the same category. All right, I could not uh, fit anything but screws in these two. Carrier, uh, organizers got all most of my self tapping over here got uh, one inch lathe non self tapping the ring hooks some hooks it's a miscellaneous bin over here have some smaller screws uh, and other stuff that could be organized better when I get more bins left one space over here for uh, smaller versions of these one inch drywall screws goes up to two inch. Most of the wood screws over here. Some of these uh, wall dogs, drywall anchors that are really good for um, certain certain situations. Got a little home pack that's been reused as a, just kind of a miscellaneous bin of smaller self-tapping and uh, just lag screws. Boom, just like that. All my screws organized. That bottom bin is now empty. All right, went back into Lowe's. Got me a little box of screws, some biddies, and uh, found one more of these guys. It was over by the screw section. They had another place where they keep these organizers. Also, the last one in that area. So I think I cleared them out of these Veristacks. Sweet. Now I can have a place for all my washers, my lock washers, cable clamps, my uh, nylon uh, standoff posts, or nylon spacers, lock washers, boom. There it is, all organized. I love it. Need about three more of those. Then I can get all the rest of my hardware organized too. Sewing machine kit as well. Let's get a couple things in there. I'm gonna get a lot more. I like some colored thread just to change things up a bit. But yeah, looking good, I like it. Easy to get my screws and whatever I need to fasten things. The washer bin kind of turned into a multi bin of fasteners. Got washers, the uh, um, the uh, nylon spacers, and lock washers. Got a little bin, just kind of like miscellaneous nuts and bolts. Since I had a small, didn't know where else to put them. So yeah, I like it.
It is a gloomy day today, boy. It doesn't even feel like the sun came out. Or, it doesn't even feel like... It doesn't feel like the day ever really started. It's just... Overcast. Very overcast. And it's, it feels like it's maybe morning, but it's like 3.29. fall colors coming out. Get a little rest before I head south. Give me a chance to think about what I'm doing. I gotta go south. I don't want to pull apart my shower here out on the streets, out on the road. We have no backup shower, though. I could, I guess, go to a motel or whatever. Man, it might not be a good day for this. Oh, yeah, we got a few spots here. Let's take the middle one. Ugh, I think this is the one I hate because it's so lopsided. Uneven, I mean. All right, here are the semi-trucks once again. hungry too. Let's make some food, get some rest, and probably head out in the morning. 